Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do these beautiful Chinese kind of style knots. They're nice and symmetrical, which lots of people enjoy. And um, just a little design idea here that in the kit, I've taken a cut two in half and then I've mixed them up. So I've got this two color. The only problem with that, obviously, is that you need to do it twice because you've then got two half lengths. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your long rope and you're going to fold it in half like so. And then in the middle of that, so the middle of the, the folded rope, you're then going to make a little fishy. Now, let me just remember, I'm going to make sure I do it the right way around. I often put it the wrong way around. So the little fishy there and the, um, the one pointing down towards me is underneath and the one off to the left there is on top. It's quite important that you do that. And then the rest of the video will make sense. Try not to make the circles too huge as well. Otherwise, it just makes life a little bit difficult afterwards when you're trying to um, like close it all up to make it uh, make sense, <laughs> uh, make it look beautiful. So we're going to turn that little fishy into a little pretzel. OK, so we're going to take that left hand one and we're going to bring it over to the right hand side like so. So again, keeping everything quite small, like the size of the necklace that it will ultimately be. All right. So that's come over here. Then you're taking this one on the left hand side. You're going to take him over the arm of the right hand side there. Keep it. You'll notice I'm keep fidgeting with it because I want everything to stay symmetrical. If it starts going like that, then it's going to be really hard for me to um, continue keeping everything nice and straight. So the, the journey I'm going to go through is I'm going to come up through here, down through here and up through here. So I'm kind of going in a straight, like a kind of a line over there. So first up is I'm coming up through there. I kind of hold everything so it stays together. All right. Then keeping it nice and straight. Try not to let them get twisted. There's that little space in the middle of the pretzel. I'm going to go down through there and my final exit is up here. All right. Just try and get that. That's not bad. So it's a bit big at the moment. So all I've got to do, and I find this actually the hardest bit, is trying to remember which string is connected to what. So you just kind of kind of follow them with your eyes. It's often quite surprising. Things that are over there need to be fixed on the opposite side. So you just have a little fidget with that until they're all sorted. I feel like that one could be a bit smaller. There we go. So that one's there, go into there. So I kind of go to the furthest point away and move it until they're all fairly even. And obviously this is the way that it um, sits. Now you'll also notice, so that's a, a beautiful knot in itself, but I've been adding a little extension to it because it kind of, you've got enough rope to add a little bit more. So what I do is I just make a little loop behind it like so and then I come under and through so the left hand side of my pretzel but don't pull it all the way through you're going to go back out of that now so you're going to take those two ends and you're going to pop it back down through there all right so that's a little extension on the right and then just doing the same process over here so just doing a loop behind it, finding the little space, this time on the right, coming up and under through that, not pulling it all the way through, leaving a little space, and then taking those two strands and going back down through that loop. I think you'll agree that that's a pretty lovely looking necklace. I'm really happy with this new knot, so I hope you like it too. And obviously you would then just adjust these to the length you wanted and then add your metal clasps with, um, with some super glue. All right, enjoy.